Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am Minister Cynthia Forbes. We invite you to tune in to the Tobago Inspirational Network for the message of hope. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Give God praise and give him thanks for today. I thank God for this time in my life. Thank him for this opportunity again, another day that I can share his word to all of us, to encourage my heart, to encourage your heart, and for those of you who do not know Jesus Christ as personal Savior and Lord, that you too would come to that place where you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank God. God is in control in spite of what is going on around and in our nation and around the world. Hallelujah. Our world is on, uh, well, some people say a collision course, but our world is going to that, that great climax. Hallelujah. It's heading for that climax. I call it we on the last lap. Hallelujah. It's the last lap of this world. Just just about just now, Jesus Christ will descend. Hallelujah. When he will take over. All those who are in position, leading and, and, and head of governments and, and heads of nations, enjoy the time because Jesus is going to come to take over. Hallelujah. He's going to come to take over and set up his rule, his kingdom, his throne, which will be an everlasting kingdom. Hallelujah. In righteousness. Hallelujah. So do what you have to do now. Do it as unto the Lord. Be honest. Be diligent. Hallelujah. Do whatever. Look to the Lord Jesus Christ for direction for your nation, for the nation, for the people that you are leading. Amen. Hallelujah. As we continue to pray for our leaders, hallelujah, of government and leaders of the church of Jesus Christ around the world. Amen. Hallelujah. These are the last days spoken of. Hallelujah. And as the Bible says also, in, in the last days, perilous times shall come. And they are here. Hallelujah. They are here. Amen. And for those of you who do not know Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord, get yourselves ready now. Be ready, Jesus says. Hallelujah. The time is approaching when he would make his return in the air. Amen. Today we want to continue from... The book of Luke, hallelujah, chapter 18, where we, last time we were together, hallelujah, let me welcome you to the message of hope, my viewing audience around the world, wherever you may be, amen, thank you for viewing the program, hallelujah, let not just view the program and say, that is good, that sounds good, no, let it, take it and apply it to your life, I take it and apply it to my life, and for those of you, let Jesus Christ become your saviour. And your Lord, hallelujah, it's not enough to say that was a good message, whether it is me or somebody else. That was a good message. No, it's not good enough. That's good singing and that's good praising. It's not good enough until you make Jesus Christ your Savior and your Lord. It's not good enough until you accept Jesus Christ as a personal Savior and Lord. We were looking at a being persistent in prayer and the topic was and still is persistent prayer wins yes and this this is not for this type of prayer is not for everybody as i go to the lord asking him to lead me through father god i give myself over to you now my mind my thoughts my speech my entire being hallelujah i surrender to you now have your way in my life speak through me let me say only what you would have me to say in the name of jesus oh god guide me through this message in jesus almighty name give those who are viewing attentive air open spirit oh god that your word would take root in their hearts and in their lives in jesus name i pray with thanksgiving amen and amen god bless you bless you bless you yes we are talking about persistent prayer and i was saying persistent prayer wins and we looked at the woman in chapter 18 of luke's gospel who came 
to the judge. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And as I was thinking about this topic, uh, the thought came to me that this prayer, this kind of prayer is not for everybody. Hallelujah. It is not for those who are looking for a quick fix. Hallelujah. It is for those who realizing that God did not come through um, for them at the first prayer. Man, he did not come through for them at the first prayer. And they will hold on. Like Jacob, I will not let you go until you bless me. They will hold on in prayer until the answer comes. And God is not in the business of quick fixing anything. Hallelujah. He's not a God of quick fix. He's not the press button God. No. Hallelujah. Although God at times will answer a prayer immediately. Don't expect him to do it that way all the time. Let me say he's a God of variety. <laughs> Hallelujah. He doesn't work the same way. He doesn't operate the same way all the time. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. He has different ways of, of, of dealing with each of us. Hallelujah. At a different time, different time span, time, different time. Hallelujah. Sometimes before you even say anything, it only came to your mind. I, I, you know, I feel like I could eat some fish or things like that. It, it's in your mind. And lo and behold, I'm sure you might have experienced that. The, and you, you got the thing that you desired. Yes? Because according to Hallelujah. Isaiah 65 and verse 24. It says there, and it shall come to pass. Hallelujah. That before they call, I will answer. Hallelujah. Before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. Come on. There are times God will operate like that. Hallelujah. We cannot limit him. To do things one way all the time. You no, know, there's no way we could put a limit. And we are not going to box him in. Anyway, amen. And we were looking at the woman who the Bible, Jesus is saying, giving us a reason why, how we ought to pray always, ought to pray and not to faint. And we looked at the meaning of um, persistent. It means continuing to do something in spite of difficulty or opposition. Continue to pray in spite of not having had the answer the time you or I wanted. Yes? So men ought always to pray and not to faint. And we looked at the term, fret not to lose heart. Do not give up. Yes? Do not. I talked about people fainting in independence parade. Even children sometimes in assembly a child would be there and just swoop down on the ground, fainted. Amen. Hallelujah. And we looked at the judge, meaning of a judge who gives a verdict on a case or person in a law court. He decides case is in a law court. He, he, he says whether you are guilty or not guilty. He gives the verdict. Hallelujah. And our judge, who is the Lord Jesus Christ, is a righteous judge. He judges righteously. Hallelujah. Bless. He gives due reward. Due. Just what we do. He will give it to us. Hallelujah. And so Jesus was saying, there was this judge in this city. He, the Bible tells us he did not fear God, no man. And there was a widow also in the same city. Hallelujah. Bless. And she had a problem. And we all have problems. We all have challenges. Things come upon us unawares that we didn't cater for. Yes, we all have a situation, whether it's financial, sickness, whatever, a marital problem, we all have problems. And there's only one place we should go, that is to God, especially the believer, child of God. Hallelujah. That we have a judge, we have a judge seated in heaven who judges righteously. Some people, some you may have even caught matter. Believers may have caught matter. Yes? We have a righteous judge. Hallelujah. He judges righteously, fair and square. <laughs> Amen. And she had a problem. And she went to the judge. Hallelujah. And said, avenge me of mine. What is your problem? I asked last week. What is your problem? You may have a challenge. Yes, we all have challenges. We go to God in prayer. Hallelujah. And like I said, because not be, do not take the fact that God didn't answer it the moment we prayed as an indication that he will not answer at all. 
And that's where we lose out. Because we think, I prayed last night, I prayed last week, and, and nothing changed, and nothing, uh, family problems, marital problems, and because we can't hold on in prayer for, for change to come, we, we go, we, we separate, uh, people separate and go to the divorce court, uh, and, and, and stuff like that, yes? Because we, we cannot hold on in prayer. And there are reasons why God would, would delay his answer. There are reasons known only to him. He doesn't have to explain anything to you and to me. He's sovereign. Amen. And in the end, when he answers, then you will realize why. You would have had answers that came to you, answers that came to me. And I would say, oh, this is why, oh God. And then you lift your hand and say, God, thank you, thank you, thank you. I thank you. I bless your name. Because you realize you and you uh, 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 came to understand and I would have come to understand the reason I did not get the answer when I wanted it. Yes, and you would have experienced that. Do not give up in prayer. Be persistent in your prayer. Hold on until the answer comes. Hallelujah. There are lots of books with prayers and, and types of prayers and how to pray and all of that. But Jesus gave us a model prayer. And whether it is being persistent in prayer or resistant in prayer or desistant in prayer, whatever type of prayer, that's our model. We must appreciate our Father God first before we make our petition. And if you notice some of the people who came to Jesus while he was on earth, hallelujah, they, they worshiped him before they laid their petition before him. And, and, and that's what we have to do. It doesn't matter what type of prayer we want to use. Hallelujah. We ought to honor God, honor him as we go down before him in prayer and supplication. Hallelujah. And thanksgiving. Hallelujah. And this woman came to the judge. Hallelujah. The judge of the city. Remember, this is a parable. And God, Jesus Christ, is teaching us something in this parable. We ought to pray and hold on in prayer until the answer comes. He will answer. But we lose out because we faint along the way. Hallelujah. And like I said last time, um, even though we persistent in prayer they have varying reasons reasons why our prayers would not be answered and one of them is unbelief and another one is sin and unbelief is sin so whether it's unbelief or other types of sin yeah sin will not get answered prayer we got to get rid of sin in our lives and a host of other things that hinder not the remember the problem is not with god hallelujah he will answer but what about us how how what is our status hallelujah with respect to him and with respect to our our, our, our family respect to our neighbors with respect to authority with respect to our, our colleagues and our our, our fellow workers yeah, yes, our fellow villagers, come on. What, what, what is our status? What is our standing? What is our position with respect to those around us? How do we treat people? Come on. God is watching. Hallelujah. He's looking at us. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We got to hold on in prayer, but hold on in prayer. Uh, with meeting all the requirements <laughs> meeting the requirements yes hallelujah blessed be the name get rid of whatever you think would hinder your our prayer let us get rid of those things yeah baby tells us when we come to pray and if if our brother ought against us leave the gift at the altar and go and be reconciled. Listen, it's you, you know, not me. It's, it's me and not the person who ought against you, you know, for, your, for my benefit and for your benefit. We got to go and make it right, even though it's the person who wronged us. <laughs> yes, before we could make our prayer. So make sure you, you're, right with, you're right with God first and right with those around us. Hallelujah. So this woman went to the judge and, and, and said, avenge me, avenge me of my, of my adversary and enemy. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Avenge me of mine adversary. Somebody did her something. She had a problem. Hallelujah. And she was specific. She didn't go beating around the bush and saying all kinds of other things beside and then come to say, what is the problem? 
And the Bible says here that this judge decided not to, not to take her on, as it will. And sometimes it seems as though God is not taking us on. Hallelujah. <laughs> but he, he heard, he hears, he heard the first time, the second time. Come on. The woman who, who went to Jesus, uh, hallelujah, her daughter was at home, uh, sick with, uh, was demon, demon possessed. Uh, and, and Jesus said, listen, uh, no woman, um, I can't give the bread, my, the bread that belonged to my people to, to dogs. And the woman would, take, would not take no. And she had an answer. Yes, I know. I know I'm a dog. I know we are dogs. But um, even the dogs would eat the crumbs that fall from the powerful statement. Would eat this, the crumbs that come from the, the, the master's table. Hallelujah. What is in the bread is in the crumb. Is what the lady is saying. I come for healing for my daughter. And I'm not leaving until I get healing for my daughter. Be like a, be Jacob, be, be tenacious as Jacob. Hallelujah. I'm not letting you go until you bless me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know what you are going through. I know what I'm going through. I, you know what your situation is. Hallelujah. For those who do not know Jesus Christ as personal Savior and Lord, your problem is I'm still living in sin, still not being forgiven, don't have eternal life, not being born again, don't have your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. If Christ is to come now, you will not go with him because sin will not enter into glory. Sin will not go there. Now is the time. Now is the time to, to prepare. Now is the time to get yourselves uh, in, in line, get yourselves right, hallelujah, with God. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Avenge me, avenge me, avenge me. Hallelujah. Avenge me of my enemy, of my adversary. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Bible says this, this judge was not taking on this woman at all. <laughs> As a matter of fact, the woman who came to Jesus with the daughter, Jesus didn't even answer her when she, when she spoke. He didn't, Master, my daughter is at home, grievously sick with, with the devil, that, that, that. And Jesus was there, so he didn't hear. A, a, you think he didn't hear? He heard. He heard her. And it's the same thing. Like when we go to prayer, go to God in prayer sometimes, we think because he didn't answer the first time, he didn't hear, he heard. It's just like this woman. She said, my daughter, good master, my daughter is grievously sick at home with the devil. Uh, would you heal her? That, that, and Jesus was there as though, he, as though he didn't hear. He answered her not a word. <laughs> yes? And when he did speak, he said, look, cannot take the children's bread and, and give it to dogs. Imagine that. Hallelujah. And she replied, I know, yes, I know, I know, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, Jesus, I know, I know we are dogs, I know we don't, we don't have a place here and stuff like that, I know, but still, but still, she held on. She could have left and quarrel and say, you're calling me dog, and, and carry on with Jesus, but she didn't. She held on, and that's what we have to do. We have to hold on in prayer. Hold on until the answer comes. Hallelujah. Don't let anybody put you off. You're still praying about that. You, I say you're done with that. No, do not finish. Hallelujah. Be persistent in prayer. Persistent prayer wins. Stick it out. Hold on. I've heard of people who prayed for years for, for the salvation of the souls of friends and, and the children and way down after many years they got saved. And there are lots of people out there who would have prayed a long, prayed long for certain things and it took a while before the answer came. They never gave up, never give up, never give up. Do not give up, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like Jacob. I will not let you go until you bless me. You're not going away without blessing me. I need something from you. I need a blessing. What about you today? Do you need a blessing? Do you need salvation? Do you need peace? Do you need healing? Do you need strength? What do you need today? It's available in the Lord Jesus Christ as you hold on 
in prayer. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And this the baby did not tell us how many times the woman went to, went to the judge. Didn't say how many times, but we read down below. He is saying, let's buy her continue. It, either he's saying, listen, you see me, let me deal with this woman because I don't want to cut me coming and coming and coming and coming again and, and bother me. Yes? It's either that way or because it says here, and he would not for a while. You think this woman would give up? When somebody is there pressuring her, something is happening in her home or in her family, somebody is taking advantage on her, you think she would give up? Huh? She will not give up. She wants an answer. She wants something to be done to change the situation. She will not give up. And she did not give up. And remember, it's a parable. Jesus is teaching us something here. Do not give up. Do not give up because the answer didn't come the time you want it. Amen. And the judge is saying, and he would not for a while, the Bible says, but after what he said within himself, he say, he's thinking, you know, this, this woman will keep coming and coming and coming if I don't answer her. If I don't do something, if I don't do something, she would keep coming and nagging and nagging and nagging and nagging me. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 And after what he said within himself, though I fear not God, imagine, does not fear God, no man, yet because this widow troubles me, <laughs> yet because this widow troubles me, hallelujah, hallelujah, I want to tell you, trouble, trouble the Lord, trouble him. He will not be weary because he said cast all your care upon me for I care for you God cares for us he cares and he's concerned about the things that are happening to us do not stay in your problem do not stay in your worries do not stay in your shame do not stay in the iniquity do not stay in your sinful state come to Jesus he says come unto me all you that are weary I labor heavy laden in sin. Hallelujah. Come, I'll give you rest. Stop tossing from pillar to post. Stop knocking from pillar to post. I want to use some terms here, but I cannot. Hallelujah. Come to Jesus before it is eternally too late. Yes. And the judge got up and said, I'm going to do something. Hallelujah. I'm going to do something. And Jesus wants to do something for you right now. If only you will come to him in prayer, asking him to deal with your situation. And he may not do it. And let me say he may not do it the moment you say that. But he will. All you have to do, hold on. Hold on. Hold on in prayer. And just say, less by her continual coming, she wearies me. We will not weary God. We will not wear. This is a human, human being. And this human being is saying this. Yes? Lest by her continual coming, she weary me. And Jesus says, and hear what, the, hear what this unjust said, just said, and shall not God take care of his very own? Yes, God will. The unjust judge said, let me do something about it. How about God? If the man, and a man say, the judge in the court say, let me do something about this marital problem. Let me do something about this situation. Let me do something about this land problem. Let me do something about this child problem. How about God, Jesus is saying? God will do something. God will, you know, in the court, people have to go back. Go back from the, they put off the case and put off the case and put off the case. The judge put off the case, put off the matter, put off the matter. And you have to keep going to the court where man sits to judge you. And the day will come when the verdict will be given. Hallelujah. God will not be weary. Keep coming to God until he answers. We cannot weary our God. Keep troubling our God. Troubling in, 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 in context. Yes? In court. Yes? Keep coming to God until he will answer. Hallelujah. The day will come when he will answer. Just like the earthly judge will give the verdict. 
on your matter. You go to court from time to time. They keep putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. Hallelujah. And, and the day will come when they will pass judgment. Hallelujah. They will give an answer. You will get your answer to your court matter or whatever it might be. It's similarly, Jesus is saying, if the earthly judge does that, what about the righteous judge, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? He will answer your prayer. Be persistent in prayer. Do not give up in prayer. Hold on in prayer. Hallelujah. Do not let go until the answer comes. Be like Jacob. Be tenacious. Hallelujah. In your prayer. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name. This type of prayer is not for the weak. <laughs> it's not for the faint-hearted. It's not for those who want the quick fix. Hallelujah. But for the strong in heart who know for sure if I hold on in prayer, God will, who believe God will come true. Today is your day. Amen. Give your life to Jesus Christ. And for those of us who know the Lord Jesus Christ, hold on. You're praying about something. Don't give up. Let Jesus Christ take over the righteous church. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God make his face shine upon you and give you peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today is the day of salvation. Accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord before it is eternal too late. God, I give you praise and I give you thanks for your word. Hallelujah. Help us, O oh God, to hold on in prayer for the answer. Hallelujah. We need you. We have situations that we are dealing with and we bring before you. We haven't had the answers yet, but we're going to hold on in prayer for those who are not yet saved, O oh God. Save them today. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Continue to view the message of hope on TN every Wednesday afternoon at 5.30 p.m. God bless you. And thank you for viewing. Amen. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am Minister Cynthia Forbes. We invite you to tune in to the Tobago Inspirational Network for the message of hope.